Beehive's new call function lets you embed the full power of a procedure into any formula. Let's look at a couple of examples. I've added a new window to this checkbook database, Recent Activity. This window displays checks and de deposits that were made in the period just prior to the currently selected transaction. As I click on different transactions, the Recent Activity display immediately updates. How does this work? Let's go to Graphics Mode and find out. I'll double click on this text display object to see the formula. As you can see, this formula calls a procedure named Recent Activity. This procedure does all of the work, so let's take a look at it. I'll open it up in a new window. And here's the procedure. It uses the array build statement to build a list of recent activity in the database, and then it reverses the order of the list so that the most recent transactions are listed first. At the end of the procedure, it uses the function value statement to return the result of the formula that called it. This particular procedure has two parameters, the date and the number of days of recent activity to include. I can easily change the formula to include only uh, three days instead of ten days. So let's just edit this here and that will pass that to the procedure. And then when we go back, now this is only going to include three days instead of ten days. In the past, procedures have been much more powerful than formulas. Now, just about anything that can be done in a, for in a procedure can also be done in a formula. A formula can even access external applications by using AppleScript or the Unix command line. Let's look at a, at a procedure, at a, at a formula that accesses the command line. Uh, open Recent here, and we'll bring up Bonjour Info. Uh, this database uses the Unix command line to find out about services available on your network. For example, right now, there is uh, one server available for Apple file sharing. Uh, I can move down and find out that there's currently two servers available for remote Apple events. Um, if I know the abbreviation, the Bonjour code, I can check for any kind of Bonjour compatible server. Let me add a new record. There we go. And type DACP which is the code for iTunes, and we can see that there is an iTunes server available on the network. So how does this database work? Again, we'll switch into graphics mode and double click here, and we'll see that it, the formula calls a function called check bonjour. So let's go ahead and look at that. Uh, as you can see, this, this procedure uh, uses the execute Unix statement to use a Unix command to scan for Bonjour servers. The procedure simply assembles the options for the shell command, executes the command, and then returns the result to the formula. Whether you simply need a short program or the full power of the Unix shell, Panorama 5.5 now gives you more power for, for any formula.